The Boeing 777 was once considered unrivaled in the wide body segment. But now China has entered the game with a completely new card, the Comac C939. A giant next generation wide body aircraft using composite materials, fuel efficient engines, and designed with the sole objective of breaking the Boeing Airbus duopoly. If the aircraft actually takes flight, as announced, the global aviation order will change. Is this a turning point or simply an overly ambitious goal for China? Let's explore. COMAC is attracting global attention with its two commercial aircraft models, the ARJ-21 and C919, its first attempts to challenge the long-standing dominance of Western manufacturers. However, China's goals extend beyond the narrow body segment. According to the South China Morning Post, they have begun research on a completely new wide-body aircraft called the C-939. That's right, the C-939, not the C-929, the wide-body model that has been under development for years. Reports suggest that China is considering developing a second long-range aircraft intended to serve its most important intercontinental routes. While it is a medium-sized twin-engine aircraft, with approximately 290 seats and a range of 12,000 kilometers, comparable to the Boeing 787 Dreamliner, the newest airplane is positioned significantly higher. This is a bold leap by China in the high-tech manufacturing sector, reflecting its ambition to break Boeing and Airbus's decades-long monopoly in the wide-body segment. For years, the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350 have set the industry's gold standard high performance, extremely long range, low fuel consumption, and superior passenger comfort. However, the emergence of this superplane shows China wants to enter the biggest game directly competing with the 777 successors, including the Boeing 777X currently the most powerful wide-body aircraft in the U.S. According to sources, this superplane is not a stretched version of the C929. It will be a significantly larger wide-body aircraft using advanced composite materials, optimized aerodynamic design, and next-generation avionic systems aiming for a truly breakthrough level of performance. Positioned in a higher segment, this superjet is expected to have dimensions range and payload nearly equivalent to the Boeing 777X, the aircraft currently dominating the long-haul market. In other words, if the C929 is the Chinese Dreamliner, then the Superjet is the answer to the 777X, and if successfully deployed, this is not just an upgraded product, but could become a game-changer in the long-haul aircraft market which is the most challenging, expensive, and least competitive segment. So the crucial question is, what does the C-939 have to offer to directly compete with the 777X? The battle for control of the skies has only just begun. Like, subscribe, and tune in for the next installment in the clash between Comac and Boeing Airbus. The C-939 wide-body aircraft is gradually becoming China's most ambitious project, to date not just a conventional aircraft, but a national statement. Belonging to the 400-seat segment, with an expected range of approximately 13,000 kanut, it is designed to compete directly with the Boeing 777X and Airbus A350-1000 Taoist, two of the most advanced long-range jets ever built. But the manufacturer's ambitions extend far beyond simply competing. They want to rewrite the rules of the game and prove that China can build a complete range of aircraft from regional jets and narrow-body aircraft to next-generation wide-body aircraft. To achieve this, the super aircraft is built on four core pillars – advanced composite construction, next-generation engine systems, highly optimized aerodynamics, and a cabin experience designed to rival the world's best aircraft. Will they truly surpass technologies that Boeing and Airbus have spent decades mastering? In terms of materials, the aircraft is expected to push the use of composite materials even further, 
than the Boeing 787 with carbon fiber fuselages, struts, and frames throughout the fuselage and wings. This allows for lighter weight, greater strength, better fatigue, resistance, and reduced fuel consumption. Additionally, its aerodynamic design is rumored to include ultra-flexible composite wings, laminar flow surfaces, and advanced winglets specifically designed to reduce vortex drag. These upgrades, if successful, could give the C939 double-digit efficiency improvements over older wide-body aircraft, a bold claim from an emerging manufacturer. Furthermore, the propulsion system is another crucial element. The Super Jumbo is expected to utilize high-performance super bypass engines either from Western suppliers or from a domestically produced engine in the future. These new engines promise higher thrust efficiency, lower emissions, cooler exhaust temperatures, and longer maintenance intervals, all essential for long-range operations. Particular emphasis is placed on the passenger cabin, a key focus for COMAC. The aircraft is touted as having a spacious interior with two parallel aisles, large panoramic windows, similar to the Boeing 787 improved humidity control, a lower cabin altitude, cleaner filtration systems, and significant noise reduction technologies. If they deliver on these promises, the Super Jumbo Jet could offer one of the quietest and most comfortable passenger cabins in its segment. They don't see the aircraft as a competitor, but rather as a superior long-haul solution, a symbol of China's technological rise and its determination to challenge the Boeing Airbus monopoly that has dominated the global aviation industry for decades. Will the C-939 truly be a global breakthrough, or just a bold idea still years away from becoming a reality? What is clear is that even in its conceptual stage, the aircraft is one of the most closely watched aircraft programs in the world, and its success or failure could reshape the future of the long-haul aviation market. China's ambition to develop the next-generation wide-body aircraft comes with some of the greatest challenges in the aviation industry. Building a large twin-aisle jet is one of humanity's most complex engineering projects, requiring billions of dollars, decades of manufacturing experience, and an extremely stringent certification regime. For Comac, a relatively young manufacturer, the path to the C-939 was fraught with obstacles related to supply chain reliability, international certification, technological maturity, and large-scale industrial production capacity. Each of these hurdles was so significant that even long-established giants like Boeing and Airbus struggled with them. However, despite all that, China continued to move forward. The country invested heavily in research and development expanded aerospace partnerships and seized every opportunity to acquire global expertise. But a crucial question arises. Will the collaboration be enough to catch up with manufacturers who have spent half a century building their expertise in wide-body aircraft? One of the biggest challenges lies in technical integration and compliance with standards. A modern wide-body aircraft must operate seamlessly with airports maintenance systems, pilot training programs, and most importantly, the world's most stringent aviation safety standards. Certification from the FAA and ESA is not a formality. It's a years-long engineering battle involving thousands of tests on materials, avionics engines, flight control logic, safety redundancies, and fatigue limits. Even Boeing, with 100 years of experience, has seen programs delayed for years. But perhaps the biggest weakness is the engine. China still lacks complete independence in high-performance turbofan engine technology. The C919 is based on the Leap 1C engine from CFM, a joint venture between GE and Safran. For the C939, no engine has been officially announced. And building a Chinese engine capable of powering a 400-seat long-range jet would require breakthroughs in thermal efficiency, ceramic matrix, composite materials, turbine blade cooling, and high-pressure compressors. 
These are technologies that Western companies have spent decades perfecting. The issue is further complicated by geopolitical tensions and export restrictions, meaning China cannot guarantee a stable supply of Western engines indefinitely. But what would happen to the aircraft if the foreign engine supply were suddenly cut off? Beyond technology production capacity remains a major bottleneck. Comac currently holds over 1,500 orders for the C919, but has only delivered a small number. Expanding narrow-body aircraft production has proven difficult. Expanding wide-body production requiring larger factories, tighter tolerances, more advanced tooling, and a more extensive supply chain multiplies that challenge many times over. If production speeds cannot improve significantly, airlines may hesitate to place orders concerned about long delivery times and uncertain aftermarket support. All of these challenges highlight the broader importance of this program. It's not simply a commercial project. It's a strategy to disrupt the long-standing dominance of Boeing and Airbus. For decades, the global wide-body aircraft market has relied on the supply chains, certification ecosystems, and aerospace alliances of the US and Europe. The C-939 is China's attempt to rewrite that balance. Its progress setbacks and ultimate outcomes will shape not only aircraft competition, but also geopolitical relationships, technological dependencies, and the future structure of the global aerospace industry. COMAC's new wide-body aircraft enters the global market at a highly sensitive time as the aviation industry faces supply chain disruptions and geopolitical fragmentation. In this context, China's latest jet is not just a commercial product, but a strategic tool. And the first market where its impact is most evident is Russia. Isolated from Boeing and Airbus due to sanctions airlines like Aeroflot and Rosaya are in desperate need of replacing their long-haul fleets. This creates a rare opportunity for China through bilateral financing and internal certification pathways, the c 9 could become the backbone of Russia's international network. However, can a brand new Chinese wide-body aircraft meet the reliability requirements needed to replace decades of Western dominance beyond Russia? The global opportunity is even greater. Across Asia, Africa, and South America, Airlines are facing rapidly increasing demand, but lack the financial capacity to purchase the expensive Boeing 777X or Airbus A350. They are targeting this gap with lower ownership costs, attractive export financing policies, and competitive fuel efficiency. For countries like Indonesia, Pakistan, Nigeria, Ethiopia, and Brazil, the C-939 represents an opportunity to open long-haul routes without incurring massive debt. In the domestic market, Air China is expected to be the first customer. COMAC plans to deploy the aircraft on key domestic routes, Beijing, Shanghai, Beijing, Shenzhen, and then expand to long-haul routes. These flights will generate the necessary reliability data before COMAC proceeds with global certification. Over time, the aircraft is also targeted for rapidly developing regional aviation hubs such as Chengdu, Wuhan, Surabaya, and Lahore. Meanwhile, China is building a much larger platform for its aviation ambitions. The Xiamen Aerospace Complex, dubbed China's New Seattle, is rapidly becoming a hub for final assembly composite materials wine tunnels, and advanced research and development in alloys and 3D printed structures. If successful, the C-939 could become a symbol of the shifting global aviation balance challenging Boeing and Airbus after half a century of Western dominance. What do you think? Leave your comment below. Thank you for staying until the end. Have a safe flight. Goodbye and see you again.